Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do factorials on the TI-84 Plus CE. This should be applicable to similar model calculators. Without further ado, let's get to it. Let's say you want to find 7 factorial. You could try typing in 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and press enter. And that is 7 factorial, but this wouldn't work if you're trying to find the factorial of a large number such as 50. So we're going to use the factorial option to find 7 factorial. So type in 7 on the number pad, so this is what I have on the screen so far, then press the math button and then arrow right until you arrive in the probability tab and then you'll see that the fourth option is the factorial feature. So just press 4 on the number pad to select the factorial option and now we have 7 factorial. Press enter and now we have 7 factorial. Now since we already have the factorial option on the screen if you wanted to reuse the factorial feature you simply could just arrow up until you, this is highlighted and press enter and then just arrow left and change the number. So once the cursor is blinking on the 7 I'm going to make this a 9 and just arrow right and so now I have 9 factorial so if I press enter I get 9 factorial. Also if you wanted to enter a 2 digit number for the factorial using the previous entry just simply arrow up and once this is highlighted press enter and then arrow left and once the cursor is blinking on the 9 type in the first digit of the number that you're um, looking to find the factorial for so I'm going to find the factorial for 12 so I'm going to type 1 in and so this is what I have so far the cursor is now blinking on the factorial but I'm going to press second and the delete button to select insert and then I can type in 2 and now I have uh, 12 factorial. I'm just going to arrow right and now I have 12 factorial so I can just simply press enter and there we have 12 factorial. One thing that I wanted to point out is that the calculator cannot do factorials past 69. We can do 69 factorial, so 69, uh, that's what I have on the screen so far, math, probability, and uh, just press number 4. So this is what I have, uh, 69 factorial, press enter, and I can have uh, 69 factorial calculated by the calculator, but if I try to do 70 factorial, so 7, 0, go to the math option, uh, fourth option, so so I have 70 factorial on the screen. If I press enter, I'll get an error message. So I'm just going to quit that, so just press enter. And that's because these factorials can get large really quickly. I hope this video helps in some way. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe, check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. Until next time, take care guys.